gusts are really getting progressively stronger. <sighs> All right, we're back after the hurricane has passed through. And I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of luck here. Uh, this is the same spot I was casting in the last video. You can see water is right back up to the bank. So I was standing way out there in the last video. And now I can't get near it. But we're gonna see what, if anything, all that water did to the bass fishing. And if the answer is nothing, you'll never see this video. So I'm using the exact same uh, bait and method as before. I figure that kind of makes it a true experiment. Fish right there, I think. Fish popping the top of the water right now. Weed mini bite, I believe. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's a big one. He was right up on shore. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. yeah, buddy. He's struggling. Got him uh, right up in the top of the mouth there. Good, good set. Yeah, very good. Nice fish. I'm gonna have to pop that out, I think. Ow! He's shredding my phone. <laughs> All right, that's a big fish. This is um, two, maybe three. Yeah, that's a good one. Bad belly. Nice. That's awesome. Good job. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm getting you free. Okay. Well, from uh, from what we've seen already here. Alright, so you can see right there, same bait as before, same method as before, and right up close in on shore, got this nice fella right here. That's about a two or, uh, uh, well, definitely at least um, two and a half, three pound uh, largemouth bass from High Rock Lake here after Hurricane Florence. Wow. It's been a while since I've caught a fish this big. So that feels really good. I'm surprised I was able to do that at the last minute uh, before before sunset here. Uh, I only just came out and that was probably my, uh, my second or third cast. So it definitely seems like hurricanes stir things up and, and get them biting. Yeah, make sure that whole fish is in frame there. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's definitely a three, maybe even a three and a half pound bass there. Not my PB, uh, you know, not worth uh, weighing, but definitely really nice. Put up a good fight. His teeth are very sharp. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get him back in the water right now. I think uh, we'll do a... Uh, couple quick little pictures and then put them back. All right, so last look at a nice uh, nice largey from High Rock Lake here after Hurricane Florence. All right, I'm sure he's ready to go. There you go. Look with the mouth closed there. All right, he's swimming off. Good size bluegill. Me and my baby both catching fish. He has a very active bluegill. Yeah, it seems like they're uh, they're quite active right now. And there you go. I don't know how well all this is going to turn up on camera, but hey, it's a video nonetheless. Stupid bug just hit my rod. Felt like a fish. Oh. 
Oh, geez. Now you're going to be in the video, too. Yikes. Did you just catch the same fish? Not sure. No, I don't think so. What is that? Is that a catfish? I can't tell. I think it is. Yeah, it is a catfish. <laughs> Boy. I'm going to have to put the light on you. Yeah, he is, uh, wow. Just, uh, yeah, they, they got some energy. As uh, my baby just said, the water temperature has gone down uh, quite a bit. So that these fish seem to have some energy here. So here she is She's fighting wrapped up. fighting a catfish. I was just about to put the camera away too. <laughs> Alright, so that's about a what, a two, three pound channel cat. Yeah, it's about a two and a half pounder maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great job, babe. Thank you. Always All right. Catch a catfish. You certainly do. Nice fish. They're your spirit fish. They are. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's a channel cat. I thought for sure you had a bass too at first, and he fought like one. Saw that white underbelly, but then I was like, wait, no, that's what that's like snaking around like a catfish. <laughs> yeah, you know how they are. They take off, and he start. You can always tell when they start shaking their head and they uh -huh. go under. They they try to take it under the water. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. Well, great catch, babe. Thank you. All right, buddy. I'm gonna have to give him a toss. Plop him in. Yep. Yeah, the water's there goes. banks a bit high now since the water's back up. Yeah. So we're right on the rocks. There's like a little mini cliff face here. Mm -hmm. Too dark to um, see anymore. And uh, that is uh, the, the remnant of the hurricane making its way back out. It's not a, not a hurricane or even a, a, a tropical storm anymore, but that's, uh, that's what we were getting the past several days, and it's on its way out now. You can see the, the lightning still going on. So I think that's a, that's a nice place to stop it and say, uh, you know, thanks for stopping by the fish dimension. Um, it was nice to get a, a couple of post-hurricane catches in beforehand. Yeah, it was awesome. So after a hurricane, go fishing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool looking lightning out there. It's really cool. All right. <laughs> goodbye, Hurricane Florence. Yes. Thank you for all the good fish. Mm -hmm. So long and thanks for all the fish. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. some wild looking lightning. It's like, uh, it's, it's not your typical kind. Yeah, it's definitely, ooh. Ooh, you see that? What was that? It's like sprites. It's a damn meteor. Remember seeing those on uh, documentaries and stuff, the sprite um, lightning? Yeah. Wait, well, you might have just caught that on camera. I think I did. Oh, that's so neat. Just wanted to show you guys that the uh, hurricane has evidently made fishing just all around good. As we came out and uh, my baby caught a white bass and I just caught a crappie and it's uh, you know same day uh, just just later tonight and we're we're still getting on fish there's lots of them jumping lots of them eating out there storm uh, storm like that definitely seems to energize the fish so there you go nice little black crappie on a crappie jig after Hurricane Florence just wanted to show you fishing when you can because it's good for you that's right <laughs> can't steal material no we can't <laughs> but i love richard gene he's awesome